Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Undisciplined Mind podcast for Tuesday, January 26th, 2016. Uh, Sierra's still missing as of this morning. So keep her in your thoughts and prayers. Dude, turn off your brights. Jeez. You know, people running around with brights, it's just, it's one of my pet peeves. It's just tougher to tell when somebody's got the brights on than it used to be. Because uh, sometimes it's just like it's misaligned, but it's like right in your eye, and it's bright as hell, and you get different types of bulbs now, and some of them are brighter than others. But I'm pretty sure that guy had his brights on. My second biggest pet peeve is, is people that don't have the lights on uh, when they should. I was I was pulling into work. It must have been like last Thursday because I don't think it was. It might have been yesterday. Wow. Um, and there was this Jeep coming. And it was, was kind of gray and dim out. You know, it wasn't foggy, but it wasn't. And this guy had this dark colored Jeep and he didn't have lights on. And, you know, from a distance, he was pretty much invisible because he just blended in with the surface of the road. And I say, You're a moron. Turn your lights on. Uh, yeah, so those are a couple of my driving peeves. You know, another one of my biggies is, is turning on, not using turn signals. And a lot of people don't. Like this guy that's right in front of me. Didn't feel the need to turn on the turn signal. I guess that's... He was in front of me in the right turn lane, so I knew he was turning. But still, you know, I think you gotta... They're there, you gotta use them. They let people know what you're thinking, what you're planning on doing. So Alex in front of me, and I just figured out he's Alex. He's got a thing on the back, and his trailer hits. It says, Alex's toy. So I'm going on record here that Alex does not like to use this turn signal. (laughs) Uh, Whoever Alex is. Uh, What else is going on? I... I, I, Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm still thinking about... I need to revamp the website. Uh, I, I... I don't know what's going on with with my theme on um, Blogger, which is what I'm using for the webs for for the Pennslinger.com website. But it's always been a black background, and all of a sudden, it just lost the black background. It's like, okay, what's up with that? But I'm thinking I need something. I need something a little more robust there. I don't know what. I don't know what yet. We used, um, for one of my classes, we had to do some web design, and we did it with a service called Wix.com, W-I-X. And it's one of these website creators, and it was pretty nice. It was pretty nice, pretty easy. I don't know what their cost is. It was it's obviously a, a you know a solution that costs something. So if I was going to do something like that, I'd want to make sure that it you know I'm not going to pay fifty bucks a month for something like that. But I'd like to get something that looks a little better than what I have now. That's maybe get a little more flexibility than what I have now. I kind of like to keep something that could give me, let me keep two blogs. And I'm not sure that that's really, I mean, most most websites seem to be like, well, you just have one blog and you parse it out based upon keywords. And so I'm like, well, what if I really want to have two separate, distinct blogs? You know, 
because I like to keep the ramblings blog for silly stuff. And then, you know, keep the Penslinger blog for more important things, more, more serious things, things about writing and you know, whatnot like that. You know, as I, my, my thoughts are as I'm transitioning out of being a student by mid-year, I want to, I want to get back into you know, getting a bit more aggressive with my, my writing and, and maybe trying to get some things published more t- traditionally or with a small press or something. So, uh, trying to think about how best to position the website for that. The other thing I've been thinking about again is, is when I really start rolling that out, it might be time and this is something I noodle over several times over the years, but it, it might be time to change my Twitter handle. using the Ed Gizmo Twitter handle and that was this, that was like a nickname I kind of fell into uh, relatively early on in my career I got you know I was I got the nickname of Gizmo and then I slapped my middle name in front of it which is Ed short for Edward and all right jeez this guy was like really insistent that he wanted to get in front of me. So I had to break so we could get in front of me. Um, so, you know, back when the internet first first started and, and, and the, the thinking was, well, you, you got to have an alias. You don't want to use your real name on the internet because bad things will happen. You, know, you got to have an alias. So I used that gizmo. And that just kind of, and, and I got involved in Twitter fairly early. And so I used that gizmo. And, you know, that's not such a, not such a necessity these days. I do kind of wonder though, you know, should I use my name? Should I use Penslinger? Is the site name, and and I like the Penslinger moniker. I don't really want to give that up. Um, KeithHughes.com is taken. I think I've talked about that before. I could do KeithHughes.net or KeithHughes.us last time I looked, but I can't do KeithHughes.com. So I think Penslinger works. It's short. It's memorable. Probably more memorable than Keith Hughes dot anything. Uh, so I'm wondering if I should make it be, you know, Penslinger. I don't know. I mean, that's something I've been thinking about recently. To change or not to change? That is the question. But, uh, yeah, it's Tuesday. It's kind of, it's, it's warm. It's 43 degrees out, according to the car temp. Oh, no, it just popped on the 42. It was 41 earlier, so obviously we're in the 40s. And uh, so I guess we're going to have a bit of a warmer day today. It's funny, you know, the East Coast is getting buried. I, I got a buddy I work with. He literally got three feet of snow. And our snow has been melting because we've been uh, creeping above 32 degrees. And uh, we had, you know, six inches or so a month or so ago, and then it's been just kind of steadily going away. Uh, So, yeah, it's kind of... We've certainly had the winter temps, but it seems like whenever we're going to get any kind of uh, precipitation at all, it's always on days where it's going to warm up enough that it comes down as rain predominantly instead of snow. So it's been kind of a strange winter in that regard. I'm not really complaining too much because I don't have to shovel rain, which is fine by me. But, but yeah, we just haven't had that much snow this year. Unless, you know, the back end of the winter really 
gets nasty, I have a feeling we're going to be coming in, you know, for snow totals, you know, we're going to be coming in a lot below normals or averages or whatever. Uh, total precept, I think, will be right where we usually are because we've had a lot of rain. So we're getting lots of moisture, but it's not getting it in the form of snow. But yeah, I guess I'll let that be that for today. Um, I will be back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.